You know, when I was a kid, I learned a lot of different lessons. At the time, it always seemed like fun things and or aha moments for a kid. You never really thought about it much until you were an adult. I'd like to tell you one of my stories. It's called Success in Crawdad Hunting. When I was a child, a fun thing we used to do was go crawdad hunting. What are crawdads? They're crayfish. We had a blast. When we started hunting, you know, as kids, we would splash around the creek and, oh, we just had a great time. We made quite a racket. Probably scared just about everything around away. But Dad and the other adults were pretty patient, and they stayed pretty close to what they were doing. They were pretty methodical. And at the end of the day, you know, we would all go home. And, you know, as you can imagine, my bucket was kind of slim. It took a while before I started to pay attention to what the other adults and successful hunters were doing. It didn't make any sense to me. As time passed, I noticed my bucket was always half of what the other adults or good hunters had. I was miffed and very, very frustrated. I then started to work harder, turning over larger rocks, and still with the same results. I gave up and sat on the bank with a forlorn face, watching everybody. Dad came over, sat down beside me, and asked, why was I so glum? I blurted out that I just didn't get it. Why did I always have the smallest amount of crawdads, more, you know, a lot less than he did? I sat there with my chin in my hands and felt very sorry for myself. We were quiet for a while. It was a beautiful setting, and my glum soon passed. When Dad was ready to start crawdad hunting again, he asked me to follow him. He then taught me what I was doing wrong. It was a lesson that I've never forgotten. It applies to so many things in life. It was especially true for me as a teacher and as a salesperson. When you're crawdad hunting, you need to turn over every rock. Why? You just never know what great surprises you might find under even the smallest rock. From that point on, I always had a full bucket. Whenever I get frustrated with any project or venture, I now remember my dad and our crawdad hunting days. I will always ask myself if I've turned over every rock. The lesson is clear. It will always take hard work and to always look for every opportunity. Doing that can yield far greater results than just looking at the perceived bigger stuff.